Hello and welcome. Today we're going to find out is the Talaria XXX any good off road? Let's find out. My name is Dave and I've been living out of vehicles for the past few years. I've always been interested in alternative lifestyles and after calculating how much money I could save in rent, I dove right in. I work full time while traveling the country and of course I love cool toys. Right now I live in a Ford E350 box truck and a Toyota Sienna. Want to see how I do it? So here we are on a dirt trail and we have the MX wheel set on hand. The thing I love about this wheel set is the offset size. So you have a mullet style hybrid with a larger tire up front, 19 inches, and the 17 inch wheels in the back. Not only does this allow you to roll over things easier, but it has a better ergonomics in my opinion. You have a more upright feel. So now that we're on the trails, let's test it out to see if the Talaria XXX is any good on the trails. All right, such a nice day out. We are in technically fall, about a 7,000 elevation, I think, 6,500 maybe. And so we might catch some fall colors. So the question of this video is, how good is the Talaria XXX off-road? And of course, it can handle it no problem at all. That's, that's never been a question. I do know it comes with supermoto wheels, so I know a lot of my viewers were asking, well, what happens when you take this off-road? I mean, despite the single pivot design on the rear suspension, it soaks up these bumps no problem. I have taken this bike on some really rough trails with big rocks that's been rutted out by the rain and whatnot. And it was very scary, but the bike handled it no problem. So I think if you're a person that wants to get this bike and are, is concerned about its off-road capabilities, don't be. Unless you're hitting 40-foot booters, then this bike will be just fine. I, you know, and I'm, I'm not surprised at how good it feels and how easy it is to roll right over all of this, these bumps and rocks and these ruts. No problem at all. All right, let's blast it over here. Sheesh. Super fun out right now. We are in Eagle, Colorado, where this area is just perfect for these bikes. And that's one thing I'll say. What's great about the wheel set is just the flexibility. You want to ride on the street to get to the trails? No problem. You want to leave straight from your garage to the trail no problem now with the super motos i definitely do not recommend you riding it out here if i was riding at all close to 40 miles an hour out here on the super motos i'd be insane it's very dangerous i'd slip right out but with these knobs it could eat it up no problem at all it feels really really good so i think this bike actually should have came with this wheel set right out of the box I would have bought it this way had I known. Just to give you more flexibility, I mean, it is advertised as a dirt bike anyways. So, why have supermoto wheels on it? But that's just my opinion. I mean, good thing now is that I have two wheel sets for this bike, but I don't ever see myself putting putting the supermotos back on because I enjoy the dirt so much more. It's really fun just to get out here, enjoy some nature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah buddy now i haven't adjusted the suspension according to my weight or anything Woo! oh a little rocky i haven't adjusted the suspension at all to my my 200 pound frame but fresh out of the box it is a little bumpy but what can you expect if you're going this fast it's gonna be bumpy so long story short, can the Talaria XXX handle off-road? Yes, you can. And how good is it? I would say it's pretty good. I mean, I do feel a lot of the chatter straight to my arms and stuff, but that's pretty normal. Even on a mountain bike with really good suspension, you're going to feel all these little bumps anyways. But as long as you're not pushing the bike to the absolute limits, hitting 50 foot jumps, then I think you'll be just fine. So let me 
put your worries to rest. The Talaria Triple X can handle this no problem. As you can see, I am going 32 miles an hour right now. Let me go ahead and slow down. Coming across here. I don't know what's ahead of me. Now, I was just out here yesterday and I ran into two other Talarias or Talarias. I don't know how you actually say it. Some people say Talaria. To me, Talaria just comes naturally. And I saw a uh, Suron Light B as well out here. And it's really cool seeing other e-bikes out here. It's like this instant connection with somebody else. The Suron guy actually stopped me. He was zipping by and stopped just to say hello. And we chit chat for 20 minutes, uh, exchange information just in case we want to go ride together. So it's really cool to have a bike like this because you have instant camaraderie with others. All right, let's blast up this mountainside here. Oh, uh, looks like a little campsite out here, dispersed camping. Oh, uh, cool. This is really cool to have this set up for people, but I hate seeing the shiny bits of glass everywhere. Just kind of ruins it. All right, so the trail continues this way. Let me just make sure, oops. Okay, wow, look at this, guys. So this brake line is rubbing up against the tire. Uh, that's what that noise was. As you can see on here, there's some scrape marks. That's not great. I want to reroute this uh, somewhere else. Hopefully it doesn't continue to scrape like this. Ah, man. Um, we're going to have to figure this out back at home. And I'm going to try not to depress this fork too much to where it it runs up onto the brake line. But that is something that people were reporting as well. This should be routed on the outside instead of right here. It's kind of a design flaw because your brake line will start rubbing right here. There's also one other thing that I saw a lot of people were talking about. You see the brake line back here? You see how close this is to your actual belt and your chain? I would always look at this, I'm trying to get a better view here. Sorry, my helmet's in the way. But you see how close that brake line is to everything? And I have seen people rip off their brake line from rubbing on things. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. So yes, these tires, this wheel set is, I would say is a must have. If you're able to get them right out of the box, I would, for me personally, that's what I would do. Because supermodels are nice, but if you happen to run across something like this dirt trail here or you want to jump off some things and just go anywhere, really, you have that freedom and you don't have the supermodels holding you back. So if you could order this bike with the wheel set out of the box, that's exactly what I would do. Save yourself a good chunk of money from the supermodels. And just get wow look how close that freaking wire is to the to the front wheel this is not great but you see that see how it depresses and that that cable just gets closer and closer to the tire uh, that's, what a bummer but that's okay we'll reroute it when we get home oh man it is nice out here for all you all out there who are thinking about getting this bike I really wouldn't hesitate I will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the Talaria or Talaria XXX and the Sting R MX4 side by side, smack down. So stay tuned for that. I think the results will surprise you. It really comes down to your stature, how big you are, and uh, how much you want to modify your bike in the future. It keeps clipping that brake line. Oh, what a bummer. <sighs> what can I do now to, I actually couldn't, I can't do anything right now. I don't have any tools on me. All I have is camera gear. I guess this is a lesson for you guys. Maybe bring some 
tools with you. It's a lesson for myself. Bring some tools with you, some zip ties. In case you're out here and you need to zip tie this over here out of the way, that would be great. I wish I brought some tools. And yeah, I'm going to definitely be riding with tools from now on. I don't think you'll be disappointed on the dirt with the wheel set and the X. One thing I'll also mention about the Talari XXX, the battery life is going to be better than the Sting R, even though technically it has a smaller battery. But somehow the controller and maybe because the bike is a little bit lighter, it just has a longer range than my than my Sting R does. So that's nice to know. You don't have that range anxiety as bad. <laughs> Of course, if you're blasting it going 50 plus miles an hour, of course your battery level is going to deplete quicker. Woo! Man, just a sense of freedom to be out here. And a sense of freedom that the MX Tires gives you. Whether it's on-road or off-road, it's just no other feeling of being able to blast wherever you want. But out here, this is where the bike really comes alive. This is where I feel like this bike thrives and where it feels like it belongs. I mean, I'm going pretty fast right now. I'm going 41 miles an hour downhill and I feel very comfortable, stable as hell. Yeah, so this bike is a lot of fun. For the price, I don't think you could beat it. <laughs> oh yeah baby oh man this is throttle therapy right here yeah. <laughs> oh man this is so much fun this is throttle therapy right here i'm going 43 miles an hour right now believe it or not and i feel so alive <laughs> oh yeah just have if you have a little bit of free time just to go blast on this bike during your lunch hour or your day off or whenever. This is just so much fun. You get your adrenaline in. And now that I got my first mod, this mirror, makes me feel so much more comfortable instead of turning my head all the way around to look. I can just look real quick to see if there's anybody behind me. Save your money from regular therapy, seeing a psychiatrist, get yourself one of these, jump on, twist the wrist, and blast all your worries away.